Now to the reaction that has been stirred to a frenzy after Lane's antics today in court. News Channel 5's John Kosick begins our live team coverage in Chardon. John, I imagine the outpouring of emotions tonight continued after dinner hour. Yeah, it really did, Chris. I mean, what played out in this courtroom behind me was almost numbing in the fact that it was so offensive. Even still, hours later, people are still talking. The quiet of Chardon Square this night, stark in contrast to the scene that played out hours earlier inside the adjacent county courthouse. It's all Tom Ray's customers were talking about. Yeah, it was horrible. I mean, all the customers and it was just a bad day. And it just made it worse. It made it really bad. Yeah. Sheila says it made her sick. Actually, I thought that maybe he might have a conscience when he pled guilty. But after that, no, he doesn't have a conscience. The court should not have allowed that to happen at all. It was very disgusting. And that was a point brought up by many. Why was he allowed to sit there dressed like that? Made him put his button up shirt on or done something to have him cover that up because that's just that's completely disrespectful. While his actions in court were to the families, Jim thinks they were directed at all of us. I think it's just, you know, trying to get some revenge back to the public. Rob says it wasn't the way this town wanted to see this end, but the fact is they did want to see this end. It's unfortunate, those poor families, uh, this town, but uh, it's something we got to work through and get over. That's all. I'll put behind you now. Yes, hopefully, yes. You know, another point brought up tonight is yes, we are all talking about this, but talking about this is likely why he did it. Reporting live in Chardon, John Kosick, News Channel 5.